book nerds, Nerd Stacular here, and this is my January 2016 reading wrap up. So this month I read five books, and the first of which was Amazonia by James Rollins. This is a pretty hefty book at 595 pages, and it's listed as fiction. I kind of want to say science fiction, I don't know, I'm not really good at uh, label labeling the uh, sections books would be in, because I remember when I was a kid, you had fantasy, fiction, and nonfiction. So we've come a long way now. We have like chiclet and autobiographies and biographies and science fiction specifically, and then fantasy and contemporary and young adult and new adult and oh my goodness. Anyway, fiction book. Wow. So. I love this book and it's a library book. I think I'm gonna go buy myself a copy of this because it was just so much fun and weird and I, almost, I read it in three days. I just couldn't put it down. So in this book, uh, back when a scientific expedition went into the Amazon and they were never heard from again except for one like somewhat garbled transmission saying, oh God, please help, they're all around us kind of a thing, okay? Now it's, oh, I don't know, like maybe 30 years or something. Four years? Four years. It's like four years later. And one of the guys from the expedition comes crawling out of the jungle. And there's a lot of stuff wrong with him. But one really wrong thing is when he went into the jungle, he had one arm. Uh, and when he crawled out of the jungle, he had two. So this launches an expedition to find out where he's been, what happened to the rest of the crew, and why on earth he grew back a limb he had lost a decade before. Much fun. I'd give that one a read. Next book I read was, go back to the beginning so I can show you the picture. Heroes of Olympus, Blood of Olympus. This was the last of the Heroes of Olympus books by Rick Riordan. And this one uh, finished it off. It had, in my opinion, a very satisfying ending. Um, a lot of stuff with the gods, as per usual. I don't really know if there's anything I can say about that that wouldn't spoil any of the previous books. So we'll just move on from that. After that, I read... I'm bad at putting these back to page one. <laughs> Monday Morning by Kathy Rikes. This was the seventh book in the Temperance Brennan novels. And, oh boy. Bones are found in the, like in a crawl space underneath of a bathroom in a pizzeria. And she's called in because they're bones. Uh, there's no like tissue left. There's some adipose air, which is like gross. Anyway, um, it's called grave wax. So, bones are found, she's called in and determines that they are recently dead as in like the past 20 years or so. So, with that, a, an investigation has been launched and <sighs> scary stuff in this, like almost real life connotations, like you've, you've heard about this kind of stuff on the news. As per usual, she gets herself in trouble, because it's one of those books where she all... She always gets herself in trouble. Brendan will always make a somewhat stupid decision and get herself in trouble. It's what Brendan does. But, wow. Read it. Okay, after that, I read Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I saw the trailer for this movie and I was like, aliens? Yes, please. And then it said based on the book and I was like, oh, yes, please. So, picked it up from the library. This is teen fiction. It's not that big of a book, but I still kind of struggle to get through it. It's at 457 pages. I was super on board with Cassie at first. She's the main character. She's living in the woods by herself, sleeps in a sleeping bag with a teddy bear and an M16. So I was like, oh, Cassie. <sighs> I'm going to read the next one because I'm intrigued enough to continue. 
But as much as I thought we were getting away from those typical YA tropes that I really, maybe not tropes, just themes that are common in YA, which is why I tend to stay away from YA, um, uh, it was a lot in here. I gave this one, I think, three or four stars on Goodreads. Because, I don't know. I had, I had an issue with the aliens, and then I liked the aliens, and I had an issue with the aliens, and I liked Cassie, but then love triangle-y stuff almost that I just can't get around. Last book I read, if it pulls up, was Crossbones by Kathy Ricks. So uh, this is book eight in the Temperance Brandon novels. This one took me a lot longer to get through than Kathy Reich's books normally do, and I think that was just purely from the content. Uh, in this one, dude is killed, and that's why she's brought in, and it comes to light that the reason he was killed was because he was at some point, or maybe currently still is, in possession of bones that may or may not have belonged to Jesus. So there was a lot of, not like heavy religious stuff in it, but just a lot of like who would be killing people that were, had anything to do with the bones. Is it um, any number of different sects of different religions trying to keep the truth uh, from the light or trying to expose the truth to like tear down tenets of Christianity? It was just very a lot of information in that comes at you. The story, though, was very interesting. Uh, she ends up traveling to Israel with Andrew Ryan, and I'm loving how that relationship is developing. But so she goes to Israel and meets up with one of her colleagues there, and they go on Tomb Raider type expeditions, which was so much fun. I really liked it. It was a good book. And that's it. Those are the five books that I read. I don't know what to say about these books. It's not going to spoil them. I suck at these reviews. My goodness. Well, this is more of a wrap-up than a review, but still. Not so good at it. Yet. Yet. I'll get there. Eventually. So, that's where I'm at. I'm going to make more of a push to read more science fiction because I really did enjoy Amazonia and... You know what? Let's talk about that again, real quick. Okay. So, one of the things I really liked about this is it inspired me to do some Googling. So they're in the Amazon and they see like Cayman. Specifically, I think they were black Cayman and I was like, ooh. And some stuff goes on with the Caymans. I was like, really? So I ended up Googling Caymans and I learned myself a decent amount of information about Cayman, which was cool. Um, there's a panther in it called Tortor and I ended up doing some Googling on panthers to learn a little bit more about panthers. And it was just, it was very much fun Fun. You know what? I'm gonna call it science fiction. Maybe. It's almost fantasy. There's so much weird stuff in here. It was really good. I am planning on reading some of his other books it had in the back here. Like a little solicit of some of his other books. And I'm planning on reading, I think, there's two, there's two four, six, eight, ten. Looks like they list ten other books, and I think I have three or four written down that I want to see if the library has, because his writing style is very, very good. And for being 595 pages, my goodness, it flowed so smoothly, and it didn't really bog you down with the science-y stuff when they're doing science-y stuff. It didn't bog down at all. Uh, and there weren't really long segments of dialogue, which can sometimes get a little tedious for me. I'm more of like a enjoying the action kind of person versus the sitting around talking about stuff kind of person. So I just, I recommend everybody read Amazonia by James Rollins. And that's it. That's what I read in January. That's it. What have you been reading? Tell me in the comments. If you've read any of these, let me know what you thought. Um, and if you have any good science fiction-y type recommendations, leave them in the comments and maybe I'll, I'll check them out because I do want to, I want to get more into the science fiction-y kind of stuff. For sure. I've been reading too much mystery and thriller and I want to branch into some of the other things. So I've been reading child, not reading, I've been watching Childhood's End on 
sci-fi channel. I'm not done with it yet. I'm bad at watching TV and keeping up on stuff, but I'm enjoying it enough that I think I might check out that one. If you've read Childhood Zen, let me, let me know what you think of it. And that's it. Read on, guys.